Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent today a cables of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the throne day anniversary. His Majesty expressed his best wishes of good health and happiness to His Majesty King Mohammed VI and of progress and prosperity to the Moroccan people under his wise leadership. His Majesty the King hailed the deep rooted relations between the two countries and their people and their continuous progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to King of Morocco, His Majesty King Mohammed VI, in commemoration of the Throne Day anniversary. In the cable, His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the relations and wished the King of Morocco continued good health and happiness and the people of Morocco greater prosperity under his wise leadership. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been highly ranked in the field of combating human trafficking, which is marked by an event that commemorates the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons. The Kingdom has long proven itself to be a pioneer in the field of combating human trafficking. This remains to be the case under the extraordinary conditions of the coronavirus pandemic, whereby the Kingdom has been ranked in the first category of countries for the fourth year in a row, as per the annual report by the U.S. State Department. In this regard, the Criminal Investigation Directorate held a virtual security conference to mark the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, which was attended by senior officials and other relevant parties. What has been achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain, as per the US State Department's report, and the efforts taken by the world's countries in combating human trafficking, whereby the Kingdom was ranked in the first category for four years in a row. This is a result of the efforts of all relevant parties through the National Committee for Combating Human Trafficking, as well as a member of the Interior Ministry in that committee, as represented by the Anti-Human Trafficking and Protection of Public Morality Directorate and the Criminal Investigation Directorate. These parties are the committee's main actors, thanks to the expertise and the support of the Interior Minister, in order to develop the skills of this directorate, in addition to enhancing societal participation and interacting with the people by establishing the hotline 555, through which complaints and reports can be conveyed to ensure a rapid response and social participation. These efforts enjoy international recognition and appreciation that are involved in combating human trafficking, which go against all international norms and the teachings of all religions. The International Organization for Migration praises the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain in combating human trafficking. We congratulate the Kingdom for attaining the first category in the US State Department report for four years. This is an achievement to be emulated and is based on long-standing efforts by various state institutions and the partnership with international organizations on migration. Our role as an organization for migration is to communicate the best practices in this regard and we hope to continue to cooperate with the Kingdom. The Kingdom's achievement proves the wisdom of its leadership and its king and the unity of its government as headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. There are institutions that work together to achieve the same goal and the people of Bahrain is tolerant and faithful. When it deals with human trafficking, it does not so based on politics or publicity but on its faith in God and tolerance and coexistence. This achievement represents a culmination of the national efforts to which the Anti-Human Trafficking and Protection of Public Morality Directorate has taken part by applying the law and developing the required skills to preemptively identify victims of such crimes and raising awareness of the dangers in order to ensure the society remains free of human trafficking. Following the orders of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Bahrain Ambassador to Jordan, Ahmed al rawai signed an agreement with Al Abdali Hospital in Amman, Jordan, to begin vaccinating Bahraini citizens in Jordan. The Ambassador praised the Royal Directive to look after citizens of Bahrain and Jordan, along with the cooperation between all the relevant parties to ensure the success of the vaccination process in light of the fact that the well being of the citizens is a top priority. The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to highlight the measures taken to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. The task force began by outlining the decision to move to the yellow stage of the COVID-19 alert level traffic light system from August the 1st, 2022 
2021 on Sunday until at least 80% of the individuals aged 40 and above who have two doses of the Sinopharm vaccine have received a booster shot. This is to safeguard the public health amidst the spread of the highly infectious Delta variant around the world. The decision was supported by the Government Executive Committee. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health and member of the task force, Dr. Walid Khalifa Almana, also noted that the interval closing between the second dose of Sinopharm and the booster shot was reduced to one month for individuals aged 40 and above. He added that from 31st of August 2021, the logo of the Be Aware application will automatically turn to yellow for this group to alert them of the need to receive the booster dose, adding that their logo will regain its green color after receiving the booster dose. Almana affirmed that the traffic light system would return to a full reliance on average positivity rates upon vaccinating 80% of eligible adults with the booster shot and underlined the importance of getting vaccinated as scheduled. For his part, the infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the Bahrain Defense Force Hospital and member of the task force, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf Al-Qahtani, added that the decision aims to protect vulnerable populations. He added that it was to encourage an uptake in vaccination, to maximize immunity and reduce the risk of infection. Only 0.05% or 71 of the 131,192 individuals who have received the booster shot have become infected and no one has been hospitalized after 14 days of receiving the booster dose. Consultant of Infectious Diseases and Internal Diseases at Salmania Medical Complex and Task Force member Dr. Jamila As-Salman reaffirmed the importance of taking the booster shot particularly for vulnerable groups and individuals aged 40 and above, noting that booster doses are safe and provide no serious side effects. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 has announced that the total number of adults aged 40 and above who are eligible for a booster vaccination is 250,000. Of these individuals, 105,000 have already received a booster dose. The task force added that it is the goal to provide booster vaccinations for 80% of those aged 40 and above who are eligible for a booster vaccination, which is equivalent to 95,000 additional people. All those eligible for a booster dose are encouraged to register for and receive one to maximize their immunity to COVID-19 variants. This is of particular importance for at-risk groups and adults aged 40 and above. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,106,716 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,051,287 had taken the second dose and 133,438 had taken the booster shot. The ministry re renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 955 with 64 recoveries, 128 registered new cases and one death. 61 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 48 are contacts of active cases and 19 are travel related. There are currently three cases in a critical condition. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. <laughs> 